Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi boys and girls, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Hey, today we're getting into subtraction again, and we're going to be doing differences between the combinations of 10, then we're going to be working on the differences between the combinations of doubles. So let's take a look at this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks here. If I uh, take away 5 from 10, so hold up your fingers, we have 5 and 5, that's our double, make 10, if I take 1 away, it's going to be 5. Here we go, I'm physically taking that away, so I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, addition and subtraction are related, so if I add it back, then I have 10, take it away, I have 5. Easy peasy. Hey, next up. Let's take a look at this. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks again. But this time, instead of taking away a lower number, I'm taking away a larger number. I'm going to take away 7 from 10. So 10, right, minus 7 is equal to 3. See, I'm using my fingers, but also we can look at it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 3 here. I take away 7. And there we go. I have 3. Add it back. There's 10. There we go. Let's take a look at another one here. So I have 10 minus 4. Same principle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to take that away. How many do we have left now? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6. Let's look at it a different way. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I take away 4. So I'm going to take away 4. There's take away 1, 2, 3, 4. How many do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 left. Hi boys and girls, next up we're doing the difference between combinations of doubles. Remember doubles? 1 and 1 make 2, 2 and 2 make 4, etc. All the way up to 5 and 5 make 10, that's our small doubles. And then we got into 6 and 6 make 12, and 7 and 7 make 14 doubles. But, let's take a look at this. So let's say I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight objects. Okay, I have four and four. See, I have them separated, but they were all mixed up. That's okay. I still have eight. No matter how I arrange them there, I have eight objects. Now, I want to take away four. Remember, we have four and four. I take away four, then I should only have four left. So, if I take away one, two, three, four, look at that. I have four left. Let's take a look at the double that makes up 6. So I have 3 and 3 make 6. But let's use these 10 rods. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. Like, wait a minute, those are 10s. Well, the principle is still the same. This could be uh, dollar bills. So I could have 6 dollar bills. I could have 6 quarters. I'm just looking at the total number of objects, right? So if I have 6 and I take away 3, I'm going to have 3 10 rods left or it could be three dollars or three quarters. Let's take a look at it this way. Three and three make six. Remove three, and I still have three remainder. Okay, Whew. we're gonna get into something a little bit harder. Let's take a look at this. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. I have twelve squares here. We can count them up, look at, and look how nice and neat we can put this into an array here. Uh, so I have three rows of four, or three, yeah, three rows of four uh, columns, and so I'm like one, two, three, four times three is twelve. Whoa, we just got into the multiplication. That's something a little bit different. But let's take a look at this. If I have twelve and I want to take away half of that, so remember six and six make twelve. Take away these six, and I have a remainder of six. I love playing with blocks. 
because it's, 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 I like how they feel, I like how these snap together and such, so I can make all kinds of different combinations and numbers. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orange blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red blocks. And eight and eight make, ooh, well, let's take a look. Eight plus eight equals... Well, let's make a 10 real quick. So if I make this a 10, I have to borrow a 2. I'm putting that 2 over here, and then I only have 6 left. Plus 6 equals 16. So I'm starting out with 16, and I remove 8. So I take out one of those 8s. I can just come up here and go, well, wait a minute. If I'm taking out this 8, I just have 8 left. You see how addition and subtraction are related. Remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety. Watch, learn, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Thank you.